future proof will mean that on the one side the owners have to meet the requirements of the building itself uh, of course in every part of, of Europe next step will be to meet the requirements of the future what the um, development in terms of e-commerce of fast-moving consumer goods will um, change and how they will change uh, and the, on the other side we have the clients uh, the 3PL the logistic companies which of course have to follow the needs of their customers um, as they want to have the success in the tenders so they will encounter the, their um, landlords to have flexible space uh, to have a lot of infrastructure which will meet uh, the rising uh, amount of uh, electricity in, in the warehouse with more robots uh, in, in the warehouse, with more moving racks, with less people. So we have in the in next 10 to 20 years a lot more electric electrical uh, warehouses with less people, um, having smaller warehouses due to the faster turnover of goods inbound outbound business and with perhaps autonomous vehicles bringing the goods to and from the warehouse. The key issue will be as we have especially in Europe, in Germany for instance, limited space available uh, especially in the metropolitan areas that we will have to uh, do a lot of refurbishment work uh, in order to save space uh, and in order to also have the chance to stay in the city because if the people want to have their goods faster as we know uh, Amazon for instance uh, delivering within a two hours time frame then you need the space in the inner city circle so then you will as a developer trying to find locations still existing with multi-story level um, um, organization and, and in this case you have the right side but you still have to transform the existing let's say hotel or office building uh, or garage into a last mile logistic premise. There's one uh, European based developer who has raised a lot of money recently in order to uh, focus on this asset class city logistics in order also to meet the requirements of the co consumers uh, but not, let's, let's not forget the business to business deals as they are following those trends being established within the B2C business you know, having goods transported via a certain time frame or being delivered in a certain time um, of the day.